pay all. Our objectives for today will be to 1. Guess the content of the listening text darker side of video games. 2. Fill in the outline on the darker side of video games as they listen to the conversation with a professor on video games. First, let's revise the benefits of video games. Benefits of video games. Improve concentration. Enhance memory. Develop decision making abilities. Increase the ability to track moving objects. Improve vision in some ways. Widen understanding. As we discussed in the previous session, people's opinions differ regarding video games. Some people consider the video games bad. Other people consider the video games good and beneficial. Let's now move to the darker side of video games. What are the disadvantages of playing video games? Negative effects of playing video games. Increase of the player's aggression. Increase of the hard rates. Decrease in the physical activity and outdoor play. Skip practicing sports and exercising. Having dizziness and nausea. Getting aggressive thoughts. found out such negative effects. Researchers who study human behavior through experiments found out the negative effects of video game on players. They tested different players playing different games, violent and non-violent games and came up with these results. Now, read the following and guess the words that could fill the gaps. To fill in the blanks. Listen to the conversation between the Professor Zainab and a group of students on the darker side of video games. Lesson 3 Do you play video games? Darker side of video games. Teacher, Professor Zainab, thank you for agreeing to talk to our class about the negative effects of violent or aggressive video games. Professor, my pleasure. I will first give you a brief summary of the findings we have from different research studies. 
One negative effect of frequent playing of aggressive video games is increased aggression in the players. Mahmood. How can playing a game make people more aggressive? Professor. A good question. Studies have found that changes happen in the player's brain that affect the behavior. For example, in one study students with little or no gaming experience were assigned to two groups. The first group played aggressive shoot-to-kill game while the other group played a non-violent game of skill. After a week of daily playing, the students who played the violent game showed changes in the areas of the brain that involve emotions and ability to control aggressive impulses. The other group of students showed no similar changes in the brains. Teacher. In other words, playing violent games causes changes in the brain that are related to behavior. Professor. Exactly. Christine. Are the changes in the brain permanent? The changes do not appear to be permanent, at least not after just one week of playing. However, we do not know whether long-term playing can cause more permanent changes. Khalid. Why don't you do studies where people would play violent games for a year or two? Professor. Well, we cannot ask people to play violent video games for months or years because we have seen the short-term changes that have a negative effect. When we study humans, we must be ethical in our studies. In other words, we cannot expose people to potentially harmful activities for long periods of time. One study found that even three days of playing a violent game caused an increase in aggressive behavior. The researchers found that the negative and effects accumulated over time. Sarah, what about other negative effects? Professor, studies show that students who had played a violent virtual reality game had increased heart rates, reported more dizziness and nausea, and exhibited more aggressive thoughts after playing. Another negative aspect of frequent video game playing is a lack of physical activity and outdoor play. Children and adolescents who spend hours playing video games do not engage in sports and other group activities and do not get enough exercise. Ali. Professor, we have just read about the positive effects of video games. What do you think about those studies? Professor. Indeed, you are quite right. Certain types of video games can have many positive effects on players. However, the beneficial games are not shoot-to-kill games, but other non-violent games that require good hand-eye coordination, use of logic, quick decision-making and problem-solving. For example, games like Othello and Tetris are not violent and help develop many skills. Some games teach the player about science, history and culture. Teacher, thank you for your time, Professor Zainab. Professor, my pleasure. Now, fill in the blanks.